Now we talked about Resilient Distributed Datasets or RDD. So an RDD is a collection of elements partitioned across the nodes of the cluster that can be operated on in parallel. There are two ways to create RDDs. Parallelizing an existing collection in your driver program or referencing a dataset in a, an external storage system such as a shared file system, HDFS, HBase or any data source offering a Hadoop input format. Today we talked about Spark and Spark Python API. Spark is a fast engine for large-scale data processing. Spark applications run as independent sets of processes on a cluster coordinated by the Spark contact object in your main program or can be called the driver program. The Spark contact can connect to several types of cluster managers and the cluster managers split the work Spark acquires executors on nodes in the cluster, which are uh, actually uh, processes that run computations and store data for your application. It sends uh, the application code to the executors and send tasks to the executors to run multiple executors per machine. Now we talked about Spark components. Spark components combine SQL, streaming, and complex analytics. Spark powers a stack of libraries including SQL and data frames, MLlib for machine learning, GraphX, and Spark streaming. You can combine the libraries seamlessly in the same application. Spark Core contains the basic functionality of Spark. Components for task scheduling, memory management, fault recovery, it writing with storage systems, etc. Spark Core is also home to the API that defines the Resilient Distributed Datasets or RDD. And RDDs represent a collection of items distributed across many compute nodes that can be mani manipulated in parallel. Next, we talked about uh, Spark SQL. Spark SQL works with structured data. And it allows querying data via SQL as well as via Apache's Hive variant of SQL, or we can call Hive query language. And it supports many sources of data, including Hive tables, bucket, and JSON. Now we talked about Spark Streaming. Spark Streaming is a Spark component that enables processing of live streams of data. There can be log files generated by production web servers, or queues of messages containing status updates posted by users on a web service. Spark Streaming provides an API for manipulating data streams that closely matches the Spark Core's RDD API.
MLLib is a library of machine learning algorithms including classifications, regression, clustering, and collaborative filtering, as well as supporting functionality such as model evaluation and data import. It provides some low-level ML primitives, including a generic gradient descent optimization algorithms. And all of the methods are designed to scale out across a cluster. GraphX is a library for manipulating graphs. For example, a social networks, French graph, friend graphs, and uh, performing uh, parallel uh, computations. In the first way, Correlations are parallelized using Spark context uh, parallelized method, as uh, we can see in this example. With the second way, PI Spark can create resilient distributed data sets from any storage source supported by Hadoop including the local file system, HTMS, Cassandra, HBase, Amazon S3, and etc. Spark supports text files, sequence files, and any other Hadoop input format. Text file uh, RDDs are created using the Spark context text file method as we can see in this example so we give the name of the text file to the text file method of the uh, spark context now we talked about RDD transformations the first transformation is map map passes each element through a function Flat map is similar to map, but each input item can be mapped to zero or more output items. Filter filters creates new RDD by passing it to a function used to filter the results. Distinct distinct returns a new RDD that contains each unique value only once. Sample returns a random sample subset RDD of the input RDD. Union unions uh, union performs the standard set operation such as A union B. Intersection returns the elements in the two RDDs which are the same. Subtract performs the well known standard set subtraction operation. Now look at the examples. In the example on the left, we have the list, the list of, uh, namely first uh, contains uh, three elements and then another list namely second and this is empty. Then for each element x in uh, the list first we append x squared to the second um, the second list and then later on um, when we check uh, the second list it contains one four and nine so we can do the same thing using uh, the map uh, transformation so looking at the example on the right and still here we have uh, the list uh, first containing uh, three elements and then we define a function namely square and the function returns x squared 
and then we call we use um, the map transformation map calls square on each uh, list item and collects all the, uh, the return uh, values each in a new list and later on we see um, the new list contains 1, 4, and 9 Now we talked about the lambda syntax. Lambda syntax is often used in conjunction with typical functional concepts like filter, map, and reduce. It is like a def uh, creates a function to be called later, but returns the function instead of assigning it to a name, and is known as anonymous function. The example on the left, uh, we have the function uh, square uh, x and the function returns x squared. And later on, we call the function and give it a 3. Then the function returns 9. In the example on the right, here we use lambda syntax and um, it returns uh, x squared and later on we call uh, square l square l with the uh, parameter uh, 2 and uh, square l returns uh, 4 which is uh, uh, 2 squared. Now we talked about RDD actions. RDDs have actions which return values such as uh, collect, count, count by value, take, top, and reduce. Now look at uh, some examples in combination with uh, transformations. Now let's try an example. In this example, we use a text file named the test in the local path. And uh, we use the uh, text file uh, method of the Spark context object to create an RDD, namely a text file, and then we call the action method. So count is an, a method of uh, a text file RDD, and uh, this method is uh, an action method uh, to return the number of elements, basically the number of lines. So in the text file, we have uh, three lines like this. So the number of elements that or uh, that is returned uh, is 3 <coughs> and there are other action methods as well so if you call you call the uh, method namely first then it uh, returns the first element and um, if uh, we uh, call the uh, filter method. Filter is actually uh, an, a transformation method. So filter, in filter we pass a, a lambda um, a function to it. Lambda filter uh, filters elements uh, containing the word last in uh, the elements. So uh, up to here, up to here we get an uh, RDD with uh, elements containing last in it and uh, the only element actually is the last one and then we call the count method the result returned is one <coughs> 
and uh, okay and uh, if you want to uh, return uh, a number of elements and uh, call the text uh, method so text one return one element which is first and text two return two elements the first and the second and take three return three elements uh, the first the second and the last element if you want to return uh, a number of uh, elements starting from the top and call the top method and if you want to return the count by value use the count by value uh, met method <coughs> Uh, for example, uh, this line has a count of 1, uh, the second line has a count of 1, and the, the last line has a count of 1. <coughs> and uh, in last example, uh, the map method, map is the transformation method, map method of the uh, text file already is called, and uh, each element is passed to uh, the lambda uh, function. So the argument of the lambda function is line. So each element or each line is passed to the uh, function and then uh, 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 the line is a subject. And then um, you call the len uh, function to uh, return the number of uh, elements in each line or well, basically the number of words in each line and uh, finally up to here up to here you have uh, an RDD you have an RDD uh, uh, which contains the uh, number of uh, words um, in each line and uh, if you want to um, collect the uh, elements onto the uh, driver program then co use collect um, uh, method and then finally print uh, the content and uh, here you can see uh, a list of uh, uh, values uh, 555 five, five, meaning you have uh, five words in uh, the first line five words in the second line and five words in the last line